today we're gonna start a new series about Cadbury Framework. On the next video, we're going to start a project and we'll see what we can do with it. All right, let's start some project in Cadbury JS. The main idea of the project is going to be really simple. I'm going to create an application with just two pages. The first page will have input field where you can input your GitHub nickname. And then when you entered it, you go to another page that contains the correlation between weather in your location and your activity on the GitHub. It's a really simple application, but it will help us to show most of the aspects of the Cadbury framework. Let's start the project. How are we going to call that project? I just realized that I didn't think about the name of the project beforehand. So it's maybe a combination of words, GitHub and weather. Let's call this project weather hub. Init. So it's going to be called weather hub version. Let's leave this version. Correlation between GitHub activity and weather. So where are we going to put it? I think I want to put it on sorting organization. So it's going to be here, weather hub, but there is nothing there yet. It's, it's actually kind of lame. That would be really cool if instead of 404, GitHub uh, uh, like suggested you to create such project. So GitHub can see that this is the organization. It can see that you are the owner of that organization. There is no such project in that organization. So instead of that, you can also show a little button, just create that project. But it's really specific UX case. It's only for people who like to mess with URLs, like, like myself. Sometimes it's easier for me to just construct a URL than just go through the page and click around. Because the URL scheme of GitHub is rather convenient, so you can just navigate there without using the links, just constructing URLs. And let's be honest, most of the GitHub users are developers, so developers like to mess with URL. So in that case, that makes sense to uh, like suggest you to create a project like from that 404 page. I think it's a good idea. So anyway, I'm going to use this page. Keywords, GitHub, author is myself, MIT, and yep. So, okay, I created an empty project and to go further, we have to understand three main like core concepts in Cadbury framework, components, stores, and routing. Let's just try to explore them. As we already mentioned before, the components are stored in the folder Cadbury components, the stores are in Cadbury stores, and the routing is the file routes.js. If we take a look at one component, in Cadbury JS. So let's take a look at, for example, Hello World. Cadbury component consists of several files. The first file is cad-component and it's just a configuration for that specific component as far as I'm concerned. It specifies the name of the component, the template of the component, how the component will be rendered. Uh, the error template, I believe this is how the component will be rendered in case of the error, and a logic.js file. For this component, the template is hello HBS because we use handlebars as the template engine. So, and this is how the component is going to be rendered. It depends on some template parameter who, and a little bit later we will see from where this comes from. And let's take a look at the logic file. These components get their data, the data that they will be displayed from stores. And in the logic file, we can even see when the render method is invoked, we just get the data from the corresponding store and just return it. And that data is used for component template. So essentially, this is from where that who parameters come from. To learn more about uh, Cadbury components, you can take a look at the cat components section of the official documentation of Cadbury. And let's take a look from where the store data comes from. The store data comes from the store and we have a store main and each store is just a class that has a method load and load should return some data. Usually this data comes from the response of some query to some API, but you can just return some static data. In this case, we return who 
And as you can remember, in the corresponding component, we refer to who. This is the same who that comes from the store. There is also a special component, which is called document. As far as I know, it should be always presented in the project. And it's sort of a root component in the Cadbury framework. Inside of this template, we use hello world component. If you want to use some component, you usually use the name of the component, like hello world component that we discussed before, and you prefix it with cat and you just use it as the regular like tag. When you insert that component, you also specify the store that will be used. This is really interesting because it's essentially decouples the stores from the components. I can create another component, right? And I can just plug it here without changing the component and component will display something different. So let's try to do that. Let's create another store. We can do it manually, but we can use a Cadbury CLI to do that for us. I need to help. So essentially Cadbury CLI has two commands, add store and add component. We want to add another store and let's create store full. And it just created foo.js in the folder Cadbury store for us, which is pretty cool because I don't have to think about what method I should put here. I just create another component and just create a template. So let's take a look at the previous store. The previous store was main, but this store contains some extra methods. The first extra method is a constructor and it takes a locator. Locator is the part of service locator pattern that is used in Cadbury framework for locating different services. Uh, it's sort of like a dependency injection, but all of the dependencies are injected through locating specific services. For example, we have a UHR service. UHR is Universal Isomorphic HTTPS Request for Cadbury Framework. And it's a separate service that you can depend on and you can locate it through the service locator. So let's return who Cadbury. Let's go to the document component and replace main with foo. Let's start our application. And as you can see, now it says hello Cadbury. Uh, so we have two stores. One is foo JS store, which returns who Cadbury, and another one is main JS that returns who world. And depending on what store we put as the store for the hello world component, we get the different results. The third thing that we need to understand to be able to write Cadbury application is routing. Routing is quite interesting in Cadbury. It's essentially used for parameterizing and triggering the stores. A typical route in Cadbury looks like that. So you essentially describe a URI, but you mark some components of URI with colon, which essentially makes them parameters. And after the parameter, you enlist some stores in brackets. If that parameter will change, the corresponding stores in the list will be triggered as changed and this parameter will be available in the context of that store. So you can do some logic inside of the store depending on that parameter. So the routes are described in the routes.js file. So we have only one route right now. It's just root. Let's add the parameter foo, which triggers the foo store. Let's go back to the foo store. So inside of any store, you have so-called context. You can access that context through this.context. And in the documentation, you can see all of the possible members of the context. For example, the state, which contains all of the parameters that we described in the routes.js file. So that means we can access that full parameter from the state of the store. And let's use that foo as who for the foo store. What, what, I, what if I can say? Let's open the template of document. Let's ensure that we use the foo store and let's see how it works. So if we refresh now, now it says hello empty. And if we put something in the URL, for example, God damn it. I think you have to restart the application. Yeah, sometimes when I mess with routing, it usually not applied for some reason. So let's just restart it. Yeah, now I can put anything here. 
and it will say hello that thing. Hello Cadbury. I think that's enough. <laughs>